this is what my uh, repair looks like. So there's this section here as well. So um, I've actually just cut out um, some of the excess. Uh, see that big crack here is patch on the inside as well. So now I'm going to try and see if I can color match. I might sand it uh, down just a tiny bit just to provide some, uh, some grit. Uh, so there's a key for the paint to stick, but um, yeah, uh, at least it's making it structurally much more solid because it, it felt just brittle. Now it's it's actually a nice solid piece. It doesn't feel uh, uh, like it's going to break if I touch it. So um, that's a bonus. And see, these things are expensive still. Even repros uh, can be quite expensive. And if I can uh, if I can save some money on pretty much anything, I will. Um, and I'd rather have the old parts even patched up, but hopefully when I'm done with it, it you won't even know where the um, where the uh, paint uh, is and where where the patch is. I just want to show you. I have done more. I've actually inspected a lot of the stuff, and uh, I've done more. So here, and these are drying in the sun right now. But here, uh, this here section, this is where the screw goes. So I need to sand that down a bit. Sorry, I need to sand that down a bit. Um, just flush with sort of that edge line uh, that's no big deal and then I can drill a hole and uh, I'll color match it again but this is where you can just actually you know it's, it's one of these uh, fixational uh, play so it's kind of essential otherwise the thing will move and rattle and get even more damaged there was a, a couple more on the back uh, rocks here you can see those two patches here Railing. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Um, sorry, I'll show you this first. I thought this was here. But this is the patch I've done on this guy. So it'll need a clean first, and then I can sand it down, and then it'll color match. I'll have to color match it from the top, even though the uh, paint is on the underside. I'll see. I might just do a coat on the, on the underside um, and see if I can just uh, replicate that coat of paint on the top side. I'll probably just go for that white. Uh, thing even though the uh, the other one on the other side has some blue but I just keep it simple uh, so I'm trying to match that white as best as I can so we'll see but it's better I think it's better even sand it down it'll look better anyway then uh, it won't be fully opaque uh, fully transparent it'll be uh, slightly uh, slightly opaque but um, at least it look complete and uh, once oh come on focus once I'm done with the paint it should look all right why won't you focus uh, never mind You've seen this. The other thing is, um, one of the other things is this guy. I have the same problem. This is the uh, top rocks. Come on, focus on it. So, I'm just, uh, I've just filled the, uh, the uh, hole placement. I've made them slightly thicker as well. I've used a few layers of uh, fiberglass and obviously resin, but uh, just made them slightly thicker and overlapped them a good bit on the uh, existing piece. So there's a good key and uh, yeah it'll provide some uh, structural integrity and I'll be able to just put them properly as opposed they were just sitting on top of the uh, of the pinball at the end it's the back of the pinball but they were just sitting there so they won't rattle anymore I'll be able to uh, fix them properly and the uh, the third one was this ramp now some of the ramps have little uh, um, holes like that as well that needs to be fixed but the biggest fix was this guy here this corner let me grab this properly uh, first I've cleaned it, it looks much better, um, but this corner here was broken, you can sort of see, can you see the edge of the line, yeah, there's this uh, sort of, uh, I can't use my fingers, but there's this, uh, sort of, uh, it was broken here, so there's still some at the bottom, but uh, yeah, I had to use quite a bit of a, a fiberglass on this one, I'll sand it down as well, it'll look cleaner once it's sanded down. Um, but it'll look better anyway than a big broken one and I, I'd rather do with a, a patch than uh, leave it broken or buy a new one. Again, these are expensive. Like if I had to buy all these again because they were slightly broken, it would cost a fortune. The other thing with this guy is uh, these ramp flaps. So I posted a message uh, on one of the uh, online Facebook groups. Um, I didn't know what they were called and I couldn't see them in the manual. These are called ramp flaps, but as you can see, it's badly, badly rusted and corroded <coughs> excuse me and these are secured with rivets so I was asking how to remove them so a few people have advised to use a, a very sharp drill bit or a, a Dremel but 
and just to very carefully drill them out um, using water to cool down otherwise the plastic will melt um, and then um, other very nice folks have pointed where I can buy them but most of them are actually in the US so I'll get crucified for import um, cost and shipping and I think I can replicate that I'm gonna use I'll show you what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use some um, <laughs> Here it is. I'm gonna use biscuit tins. Uh, it's roughly the same gauge metal, just about. Uh, by the time I, I've stripped it uh, of the external paint, it might well be uh, even that. I, I will sand it anyway just to clean it. And then I will gun blue it. So I'm gonna use this, this section here because it's the flattest. And I'm pretty sure I can make new ones out of that. And again, probably save 50 quid on just importing and buying the pieces and etc etc I'll use small standard rivets and uh, we'll, see, we'll see if it works I mean it's gone so I have nothing to lose by trying it if it doesn't work out I can I can buy you know ones from the internet but I want to try that first because again it's about operating on a budget here and, uh, <laughs> and sometimes it's just silly paying silly money for silly little things so let's uh, well let's let's look after our our you can see the difference in in color but it'll uh, it'll sound a lot clearer anyway uh, let's keep working all right that's uh, it off a couple of things here so I wonder uh, I was careful I did go slow and uh, I used some water just to cool it down but I wonder if, if it heated the plastic and just because uh, the metal heated up and probably just melted the plastic around it. I'm not sure. I wonder if it's like that anyway. Um, regardless, I, it's not a big deal. I can patch that again with fiberglass and then redrill a hole here. So we might need to do that. And what I can do is just have a, a piece of fiberglass on the underneath here. I can see that it's, it's a crack that I hadn't seen. And uh, the crack runs along here. So it might need to be patched and fixed regardless. So yeah. Um, to, just to make it stronger and while it's out here I might as well just fix that so uh, we we'll do that we we'll just patch this guy and uh, probably patch this hole and redrill it to this size uh, just to be on the safe side and then I can cut out uh, my piece of metal out of my biscuit tin and uh, we'll patch this and make a new one uh, I need to get some rivets as well Right, there you go so this is the piece here that actually broke it, it disintegrated actually as soon as I took it out but this is the piece uh, I made just a template copy of it of sorts uh, it should be exactly the right size if everything's well so I, I just cut it with the, the angle grinder here and uh, out of this piece and then just sand it down uh, both sides just to clean everything um, give it a, a quick polish I'm gonna give it a, a clean now with alcohol uh, just to and probably yes it won't actually just to get all this stuff off and then uh, I have some gun blue on order so gun blue is one of those things that blackens your um, your uh, uh, metal and uh, I needed some anyway for other projects so um, I'll, I'll use it for this uh, just to blacken this guy um, try and match it as best as I can and then uh, so this is slightly more rigid but it's still flexible so it should it should work on this, you know, it'll, yeah, it should work. Um, I might, I might sand down the edges a bit just to make it more flexible. Um, this is paper thin almost, but hopefully it'll work. So I'm gonna mark where the holes should go as well, uh, here, and then I'll match that onto the ramp and see where the holes for the rivet then go um, in this order. But uh, for now, I'm going to put this to the side uh, and uh, and move on. I was just going to show you. I had my uh, I had this guy out. Um, just my uh, well, it's a big kind of angle grinder thing. Uh, but I'm using it for as a sander, and I've used uh, grits of uh, it was 600, 1,200, and uh, 2,000 grit. Uh, to polish the uh, the flap there, but I also used that on the uh, the balls because they were also rusted and pitted and uh, 
well, if I may say so myself, and I am saying so myself, they are. Uh, they came out quite nice and clean. There's still a few marks here and there, but I'm going to be able to reuse these. You can see some of the, actually, it's more visible if you leave them here, some of the marks, a few blemishes here and there. But actually, this was the worst effect that you can see some of the black marks. But I think they came back quite nice. So, do you know what? Instead of just buying any set, I'm just going to see if I can reuse these. Um, technically, technically, it's taken a tiny bit of material. That's what happens when you're polishing, but not enough really to, uh, to for anyone to notice the difference. Although I'm sure somebody will tell me that they can notice the difference, but I know I won't because I'm not that good a pinball player anyway. But instead of buying a new set, there you go. I can reuse the old ones. For um, just reference, these were the old ones that uh, I didn't have all this uh, polishing grit and all that kind of stuff uh, when I did the other pinball. Um, so I sanded them by hand with uh, wire wool, and uh, this uh, came out like this. So much more effective to use uh, an angle grinder. All right, so I've been trying to uh, color match. Uh, this thing, I, I finally sanded everything down, and uh, as you can see, it's quite uh, somewhat flush and level. I, I don't want to risk taking off uh, some of the original plastic. Come on, focus. There you go. Uh, as you can see, yeah, it's been scratched already. It's funny, I can see it with the lamp. Yeah, <laughs> it's because I'm flashing light on it at a certain angle. Those scratches are fairly visible here. They're not quite in real life, actually, but. Um, uh, so I've sanded down and I've painted there on the side. I think this is uh, as clean as I'm going to get it. So this is actually what it looks like. Uh, the issue with those kind of dark blemishes here is because well, when I was working on the on that um, that uh, resin, my uh, tools and fingers were probably not that clean, and uh, it it added some impurity. Um, I'm gonna have to leave with that or, or redo it entirely, but you know what? It, I think it's better than a big chunk of it is you know being missing. So I am gonna live with that. I'm happy enough as it is. Uh, I might do another coat on the underside uh, just to make sure that it's it's nice and opaque and somewhat uniform. But yeah, it it doesn't look too bad. Uh, it'd be it'd just be noticeable as a blemish on uh, on the pin once it's back in the pin and well this piece and uh, the equivalent piece on the other side it's just actually that section here they go for about 35 as repros you know uh, so your original would be would be much more expensive but even as a repro it's 35 euros or th uh, 25 euros I think is the cheapest I found it plus shipping of course so it's probably 35 euros altogether um, I'd, I'd rather use that money for something that is thoroughly missing like one of these I uh, noticed on the uh, other side of the pinball is entirely missing there's a, a bit of a stain here there you go so uh, actually I'll show you which one it is so I, I need to order that piece so I'd rather use the money for that and live with that little blemish but I think it looks it looks better the um, the rocks once they're entirely redone will look at least better than that because here the problem being that I'm banking on everything being transparent and fiberglass isn't quite as transparent as this plastic to start with it, it, it was hard to keep everything clean so there's absolutely no reason for me being here other than to tell you that that's it that that's it that's the end of the video it's 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 over 12 minutes and 12 to 15 minutes is what YouTube seems to be telling us that is the appropriate size for videos like this so let's end it here you, you'll see the rest of this video in the next one if 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 it's the way it pans out I don't know I'm I'm recording these randomly like wherever I see uh, unfit and inappropriate so of course find me on Facebook Twitter Instagram all these platforms there's a Discord 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 there's a Discord server if you wanna chat and there's a Patreon page as well if you wanna help the channel um yeah <laughs>